Hi, my name is Bettina. I'm at the Barfoot's Development Kitchen and I'm about to show you how to make a chocolate cake using butternut squash. So I'm going to start off by cutting into this butternut squash. There we go. And I'm going to peel it, chop it into squares and just chuck it into some boiling water and these should be soft within about 15 minutes. The butternut squash has boiled until it's nice and really soft. We are going to keep the water that's in here and we're going to use that to blend it up starting with the butternut squash. Then we're going to add in our dates that have been soaking in water to mix it all up. I'm going to use a a vanilla pod. What I like to do is use the whole vanilla pod and just blitz it and that way there's no wastage. So I'm going to chuck that all in and then give it a blitz so that it's all a nice smooth mixture. So now that the we've got a nice smooth texture to this mix we're going to add some flour. So I'm going to use some buckwheat flour in here and we're going to put some almond flour. We're going to use agave syrup as our sweetener. And if you like, you can use maple syrup or honey as well. That's up to you. And we're going to add in some baking powder and some cacao powder. Basically, and give it a good old mix until it's really nice and smooth. We're going to put these into muffin tins. Here we go. I've pre-oiled these or pre-greased them. We're just going to evenly distribute these into these muffin tins. So this goes into a preheated oven, 180 degrees, and they should be done within 10 to 15 minutes, maybe 20, depending on how hot your oven is. So for the chocolate icing, I'm going to use avocado. The cacao that goes into the mixture is sort of going to take away the avocado flavour. There we go, just chop those up, stick them in the blender. I'm going to add some cacao powder and the darker the better. So we're going to put four scoops of cacao powder in. We're going to add agave syrup as our sweetener and we're going to give this a really good mix until we get a nice smooth texture. So the avocado with the other ingredients have been incorporated really nicely to make a nice smooth chocolate mousse and basically what we're going to do is we're going to scoop it out and we're going to let it cool in the fridge until it's ready to go on as a topping on our beautiful butternut squash chocolate muffins. These have cooled down properly, these little chocolate muffins, and what we're going to do is we're going to scoop them out onto a really pretty board, and you can make these for children's parties, or they're great as a Christmas treat. I'm going to top them off with a lovely chocolate mousse that we've got in the fridge. There we go little blob on each cake. That's all of them. And we're going to add some extra cacao on the top. Oh, there we go. So just going to finish these chocolate cakes with a dusting of cacao on the top. I really hope that you enjoyed these chocolate cakes with butternut squash as much as I do. Mm -hmm.